Okay, we've got the front view. I haven't got the side view, plan view. This is an elevation question. Uh, question A is elevation. So draw an accurate front elevation of the pyramid. Now the pyramid itself, uh, it says uh, the base of the pyramid is a square. It's a square. If it's a square, it means all the sides are six centimeters, all the way around, six, 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 all the way around. The height of the pyramid is four. Uh, M is the midpoint. M is the midpoint um, of BC. Uh, what else did it say? V to M is five centimeters, five centimeters. Draw an accurate front elevation. So if some, somebody was standing here, what would they see? Right, they'd see six centimeters. Two, three, four, five, six. Right, perfectly. Do that with a ruler, please. Um, and the height of the pyramid is not five centimeters. Remember, they're looking at it that way. Okay, head on. They're looking at it that way. Uh, it's got a height of one, two, three. It's got a height of four centimeters. One, two, three, four. Okay, so use a ruler for this. That's what that person would see. Right, they would not, I would not make this triangle a height of five centimeters. Yes, um, if you were looking at it from this angle, I don't know, maybe you were hovering in in air, right, like this. If you're looking at looking at the triangle that way, then you'd probably see five centimeters. That person here, um, it's probably got wings. Look at that. Look, looking at a triangle, probably be seeing a triangle that's got a height of five centimeters. That's different. This person sta uh, standing on the ground, and from the ground, it clearly says it's got a height of four centimeters. That's why I've drawn a triangle of a height of four centimeters. So that's your uh, front elevation. All right. In a previous question uh, from the booklet, I have talked about elevations in detail, particularly the pyramid. work at the total surface area of the pyramid i'm trying to work at the surface area of the pyramid right there are four triangles height of the triangle right. look we're not looking at the height of the pyramid we're looking at the triangle now each of the triangular faces okay we're not looking at the height of the pyramid that's different from height of the triangle Clearly you can see height of the triangle is five centimeters and the base there is six centimeters. Right, to work at the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Uh, that's 15 centimeters squared, but there's four triangles. So it's gonna be four times 15, there's four triangle triangular faces. So that's 60 centimeters squared so far. And then you've got the base, which is a square uh, the square to work at the area of the square six times six 36 centimeters squared to work at the total surface area of all five faces that will be 96 centimeter sorry centimeter squared that's the total surface area right a harder version of this question would be if they didn't give the five if that five wasn't there you would have had to work at the five how all right imagine so you're now starting to think about 3D Pythagoras. Imagine you've got this um, triangle here. Okay, sliced inside of this shape. You've got a triangle, right angle triangle. You've got a right angle triangle sliced inside of this shape. We know the height of this um, sliced triangle. We know the height of this triangle here is four centimeters. It's given in the question. This way, is three centimeters. How do we know it's three centimeters? Well, that's the midpoint, isn't it? Uh, half, okay, all of that is six centimeters. The side of this uh, BC is six centimeters. So B to M, half of it would be three centimeters. That's what I'm saying, it's three centimeters along here. So you've got this uh, sliced in triangle inside of the pyramid, right angle, it's a right angle, got a height of four centimeters, three centimeters, trying to work at this side over here uh, it's a Pythagoras question so because we're trying to work at the longer side we do adding so that'll be 4 squared plus 3 squared 
that's 16 plus 9 is 25 square root of 25 is 5 all right so it's 5 centimeters all right so this side here is 5 centimeters 5 centimeters there okay 5 centimeters let me just show you that again there you go 5 centimeters along here 5 centimeters that's how you work at the height of the triangle that would have been a more more of an interesting question a bit more challenging